What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. That's Mike. I'm Chris. What's up, Mike? What's going on, brother? Game of Thrones, episode yeah. two. Did you hear what I said? It's a like Game of Thrones, like Daffy Game Duck. Of... <laughs> weird. Is is the screen wet? Is the no, no? It's pretty good. My mic's probably wet. But a Knight of the Seven Kingdoms. There's yes. a meaning behind all that. And we'll get, we'll get, we'll get to that. Yes. But this was a this was a sick ass episode, man. Oh, it was great. I it mean, was a it really was... good episode. Uh, yeah. You know, very, again, things moving along very, very quickly, very swiftly. I like it. I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. uh, so what do we get, Jamie? Jamie in the beginning. It goes picks up right after we they you know. They yeah, each other. yeah. Did they? There's no no waste of time, like you said. Yeah, they get right into the Jamie stuff. Uh, you know, um, Cersei. Uh, Cersei. Danny starts with that line about her and and um, the story. The, when I yeah, was a kid, Viserion. They told yeah, and the King's exactly. Story. What would we What would we do to the Kingsley and those kind of stuff? But obviously, you have Tyrion there. Um, you have Brienne <laughs> there that kind of vouched for him. That was great. Yeah, no, it was it was really it was really cool. And the, the one of the fa my famous uh, favorite parts of the scene is is what Bran says to him, you know, the things we do for love. And right, and yeah. Jamie kind of looks to him because obviously that's he remembers, yeah, a quote from from Jamie pushing Bran out the out the window. Yeah, so it, I mean, it was it was a lot of I wrote down like in big big letters on the top of my, my page. It's the calm before the storm episode. Kind of. Oh wow! Well, yeah, very, very, very so, much. Uh, so. Yeah, we have a planning of everything. Everybody here, everybody there. We got you know Gendry making weapons, and we have planning going on with the with the war room stuff. So it's and then we have the fun stuff. They're making the ramparts and stuff outside. They're making all that stuff. Um, just talking about uh, you know, I like the Jamie scene real quick because it was yeah. there was some pretty standout moments. Obviously, uh, Brienne uh, going up and 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 speaking for him. Uh, you have Tyrion try to speak up for him, uh, and he's like, "What was the line again?" He says the line. And she turns to him, and she says, "Like you didn't trust you. I trust yeah, him. I trust with my, whatever yeah, with like, my yeah, life or whatever she's it was." Like you trusted your sister. Yeah. And he's like, uh, and then when he when she says he can live, Tyrion just lets out a huge sigh. He's like, oh, yeah. you know. So yeah, yeah, that was that was pretty cool. That was a really good scene. And then later in the later in the forest, he goes to Bran. He's like, "Why didn't you tell anyone that I yeah. did that shit to you?" And he's just like, "Listen, dude, I <laughs> am I'm dead. I'm 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 this thing now." And he's like, "Oh, I'm not Bran Stark." A bigger picture for everything, and he knows that in some way or another, Jamie is going to be needed. So that that could be a foreshadowing of something really important that maybe a, a, one of the walkers that maybe Jamie kills or something. There might be something. That um, there's a there's a good reason why Jamie's there. Um, it was funny just just even even before that, um, there was a, there was the um, scene after everybody leaves the room, right, um, yeah. and Jamie is and Tyrion sitting there with with actually no that's the war room scene that's not the the yeah, no. the, the, the trial scene but anyway I'm, I'm talking about it let me let me just say it. So there's the war room meeting, and after the the plan is set, and we're going to use kind of um, Brand is bait. Brand Theon comes to the rescue, kind of a thing that was very cool. But Tyrion and Bran are left in the room, and he's like, "I have all day. Let me tell you, you've been through a lot." And <laughs> they're sitting there, and and then it, and then it went to another scene. So I'm like, "Oh, I really wish I could have heard that him? conversation." Yeah about all the stuff that Bran's been through. Anyway, it's kind of a little bit of a tangent, but I I wanted to make sure I didn't forget saying. Well, yeah, here's a couple things. I got a couple yeah. I got a couple points here. First of all, Bran knows what's going to happen. Yeah. Bran knows what's going to happen. Yeah. And I feel like I just got a very ominous feeling when he was talking to Jamie like he's just like, "Listen, this I think everyone's going to die <laughs> now." Yeah. I think and I think he's just like, "Look, I uh, he probably knows he's going to He's going to because I think he's going to I bet you the Night King is going to get him, you know, and my other issue with uh, 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 what, what's his name? Um, oh, my God. What are we thinking? Uh, he said he's going to protect him. What the hell is his name? Why? Theon. Theon. Thank you. Wow. I'm thinking of his, of his <laughs> real name. That's why. Theon. My, here's my issue with Theon. Yeah. What are you? You're not going to do anything. You're not even a fighter, bro. Like, what are you yeah. going to protect? Like, you're not going to do anything. So. I thought that was interesting. Everyone's like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, great, yeah. They're all just like, I'm like, this guy's not going to protect him. He can't do anything. Anyway. Well, he has he has the Ironborn with him, too. You well, know, some I of mean, them, sure, so. that's going to be. I saw a, uh, before I forget, I saw a meme that, that showed. Did you see the meme with uh, Jamie 
has a um a dragon glass hand and he's like get somebody just give Jamie a dragon glass hand so he could like slap the walkers. Well, no, I didn't see that. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Um yeah, so you know, that scene I mean, let's talk about that scene. That the throat the uh fire hearth scene or whatever. The war room you're the talking? War, uh, no, no, no. The war, oh, the war room was pretty good though. I you know what? It was really interesting seeing everyone together in that war room and how they're all trying to figure it out. And they're all just like everybody's just, like, like input. But but also they're all just like we're all gonna die, right? Like they're like it's like you all know we're gonna die, right? And like yeah. there's a sense of just like there's a sense of purpose, but there's also just a sense of dread and almost a finality to like, all right, well, this is it. Like this is gonna mm-hmm. be it. Like you realize mm-hmm. that, right? Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, and multiple he, characters say it. And he said, and Brand says we, th- he's here for me, and which is like, cool. What? Yeah, which that, is cool. that whole thing. There's always there's we've never really had the true reason of of the night king coming in the first place. And the the, the quote is that Brand says he wants to erase the world. Um, so he wants and, to erase and, human and, memory and yeah, and, yeah. And, and I'm I'm his memory. So Bran is the memory of every human. He can the Night King can kill if there's a million people. He can kill you know all of them except that one Bran, and he won't be satisfied because Bran has the memories of everybody that that lived and died, um, past and present. So he also says he ha- he also said you know how, how, he won't know where you are, and he's like yeah he will. He marked yeah. me, and, he and they're all like they're all like God damn it. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was um, it's definitely cool because I mean it's really Brand's plan that they're that they're really using. I mean, I you think can shoot. For... Mike, I what? think it's for nothing, man. I just get that sense from him. I know he's all just like oh, now, like he's all very stoic and whatnot. I yeah. just, but I'm getting either I'm just ta- looking too much into it, or it's what, or he, it's being he's being you know he's he's acting very well. I just I feel like he's just like it's all for nothing because he's just so blasé about it, and I understand that's who the three-eyed raven is. But yeah. at this, but I, dude, I feel like he's just like, am I? You, I mean, am I th- looking too much into it? Like he's just like, this is all for nothing, guys. But I understand that humans have to do what humans do, and they yeah. have to hold on to hope, and 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 you know, do go about their human ways, because Bran isn't human anymore. You know, at least that's what he thinks. Yeah, and I just think that he thinks, okay, he's letting, he's gonna let everybody do what they have to do because yeah. that's how it has to play out because that's his role as a watcher, as a as a three eyed raven. Yeah. I'm gonna let these humans just play out their little game, but in the end, it won't mean a thing. I think that's what's happening. Uh, I don't know. I, I know? think that. I mean, listen. There's a. There's a lot. Of, there's even theories that the Night King isn't even coming there because when we see the 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 whites arrive with the other knights, um, you don't see the Night King as one of those guys. Well, we also didn't see who was actually there. We just saw Well, you saw, no, no, you saw the whole, you saw there was like five or six of the Night Night King guys, and they were all the long-haired ones. They weren't, the Night King wasn't there. So who knows, maybe he's bypassing, maybe Bran's wrong. I mean, he says that he, he can only, I don't think he can see, um... I forgot exactly what the line is, but he can't see exactly the all the future. I don't think he can see the entire outcome. He needs to. Um, I forgot exactly what it was, but regardless, I'm I'm on the boat where I think he's trying to save as many. Uh, he's trying to save everyone, and I think that this right now is w- the only way he thinks. Um, the people that he loves can be saved. Yeah, I again, I I just I I'm on the opposite end. I don't yeah. think, I think he knows I nobody know. can be saved. I think he I, thinks I think he saw everyone dead. And I think that's what this is. Well, I, then then I then I personally so, think he'll be wrong. You think so everybody we'll Yeah, die? so yeah, so we'll see. We'll everybody, see. Everybody no, not everybody's going to die. There's definitely Everybody's going to die. Here's the thing about Here's the thing about John. All right. All yeah. right. Let's talk, you know, now that everyone's going to die, right? So mm. So the end is the ending is really cool. That whole situation, uh, you have Pod singing the song, yeah. and it it was you know he's got a beautiful voice and and he and it's a wonderful song. There's actually there's actually I saw a couple of videos of that song saying that that song is proposing that John will will give up the throne to be with Danny because that song is about uh, Jenny. Like basically, there's a story about. Uh, one of the Targaryens giving up everything to be with a, a lowborn girl, yeah. and that's basically what that song is is about. Essentially, is what is what it is. And then they're saying they, that's a correlation to John, meaning he's going to give up. He'll abdicate the throne for Danny, 
because he didn't want it anyway. So that's you know, yeah, no, I mean that could that could happen, but that's just it, a it was Lord of the it was Lord of the Ringy. Oh, very Lord. That right? is well. That when was an amazing. They're panning over when everybody. You're panning over Sam oh, sleeping dude, with little Pippen Sam. Sang that song. So that was one stuff. of the best. That was one of the yeah. Best it reminds me of like what what was it? Pip right singing. Pippen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It was and and George R. R. Martin is a big. Well, you uh, know, right, and that uh, and that Lord whole thing. It was a really, it was a, it was a really fun episode. It was and fun, you know. I say that objectively, but it was really fun seeing, dude, watching Tormund come in and he's just pining for her. Like it was, it was so well done. Drinking, it's just there, and everyone is like, you know, Davos is, you know, you, none, everyone has fought each. He, I think Tyrion even said at one point, everybody in that room fought each other at one point in time. Yeah. You know, and yeah. it's just fantastic to see that. Yeah, they're coming together. It's almost like a medieval Avengers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, no, definitely. And then yeah. he knights, you know, he knights. That was, yeah, that was emotional stuff, man. That was probably one of the most um, heartfelt scenes of the of the um, of the episode, especially since um, she does such a fan. What's it, Gwendolyn? Um, What's her last name? Pierce? Whatever. Not Pierce. Uh, no, no, it's, it's Gwendolyn, Pierce. isn't it? It's her Gwendolyn, first name? but why, is, why do I keep thinking Pierce? Uh, I don't know. Whoever, but she does a fantastic job portraying the emotion that she know. gets. We're fans, right? Look, how, right? look what big fans we are. Yeah. That's what um, bother me. Go for it. Gwendolyn Christie? Is yes, that I think so, yeah. All right, so so yeah, that was an emotional scene. I mean, to, to shoot a couple more points, I mean... Jamie yeah, talks with Brienne, uh, you know, before even before that about how he wants to fight with her and that her plan. Oh, is, that was great. And she's like, "What's your angle, bro?" And he's yeah. like, "No, no, no, no angle. Yes, no angle." The I'm first not, time you spoke to me you. And right. without making fun and all this kind of stuff. So it was cool to see that. Um, we had the Danny Sansa talk, which at first seemed, um, you know, real girly girl girl uh, power kind of pack thing uh, until. Sansa mentions the North. What happens to us then? What well, happens after a, this? That was a fantastic scene because it, the tension yeah. obviously was there, and she's like, "Okay, I, all right." She's like, "I hear what you're saying, and okay, that's great and all, but what about the North?" She's like, "We broke away because of that shit. Yeah, we we vowed never to give up the North again. So what are that. we gonna do? What are you yeah. gonna do? Yeah. So it's. I mean, that was it was cool to see them kind of getting along. I don't necessarily thunder? think. Yeah, I know it's like thunderstorm happening right now, yeah. everybody. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, no, it was it was it was cool stuff. I mean, it was it was good to see them uh, both interacting and on a positive note. Do I think that um, the whole pull, pulling away, Danny pulling away from Sansa's hand is going to? No, I, I just think that's kind of like a drama thing, just to add some kind of effect. Oh man, well, for the viewer. at that point they were at odds, so why would yeah. you still be? I don't, you know, I, it's I don't, I don't know. I mean, thing. it seems like. You know, I'm really thinking, and I could be naive by thinking this, but I really think that after Danny found out the truth that John tells her about his his lineage and all this kind of stuff, and the reason why he was being distant, obviously, it's the reason because they're related. But I mean, she she admits to loving him. Sansa says to Danny, "He loves you." So they are in love, and I'm kind of, I'm gonna think that she will be the one that kind of puts puts you know her power hungry her quest of from the beginning of the show and the beginning really? of the series yeah i really do because what's the difference they're both they would both rule as a king and a queen in the first place it's it's just she wouldn't have the the ultimate I mean, what would you? How how would you explain that? You know, I don't really think they they would. John, like you said earlier, he's not the one that wants that kind of thing. I think it can be a combined of, let's do this together kind of a thing. Right, I don't so, think it'll necessarily be so, like uh, a conflict between the two. No, all right. I listen. I I half I half agree with you. I yeah. think I think there could be a a joint rule. I, I like I said previous. I I agree that John would abdicate. And le let her be the supreme leader, and he mm -hmm. would just be with her. I do think, though, I still think, and you, I know you're going to disagree. I think she's going to go mad. I think she's going to go crazy. I think her, her Targaryen background, and I don't think she's all there. I, I, I think she's going to really? lose it. I think she's going to flip. I think she's going to flip. She's gonna, she's gonna go crazy. She's gonna go crazy. Number one, number two. I, but I still think she'd want to be with John because you know, not it, it's in the Targaryen blood. They're that they're incestual. That's what they do. They keep it in the blood. It's also how she's been raised. She's been mm -hmm. raised to keep it in the family. And the fact that John is her family at first is like, what the what? But I I think 
yeah she's gonna be like well no we love each other so it's fine because this is what this is bringing back the old like my family used to do i think yeah. that's what's gonna happen now will john accept that that's now i said john i could see john abdicating and letting her be the ruler and being by her side because he loves her Man. but i also see him fighting against that because he is a stark and he's and he'd be like i'm not gonna do this this is wrong Mm -hmm. So I, I honestly don't know where to go with there, but I'm, I feel like she's going to lose it, dude. She's going to flip on everybody. Guaranteed. She's flipping, man. Really? Flipping. Really? She's going I don't nuts. Know. She's going nuts, I don't nuts, know. Man. I, mean, I don't, I don't think, I mean, I, I, I honestly, I'm going to try to be on a more positive but note. But what would be that, more interesting, be... bro? Her being like, <laughs> yeah, I'm... this is great. No, dude, let her fucking flip and kill everyone, man. That makes the show interesting. You don't need to be boring. Nah, because it's, and I don't think that it's going to be one king rules all anyway. Nah, I think because they're going to be dead, Mike. Don't worry about it. They're going to be dead. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, It'll I don't be know. Fine, I mean, bro. quickly, quickly, I do want to kind of talk about the Aria, the calm before the storm stuff really quick um, about the Aria Those Gendry. Good for, good for her. Yeah. Aria, good for you. Go for yours and just do what you got to do. Yeah, it was it was funny before she goes and searches out. Gendry, she sees the Hound and and Beric. That was a good. Uh, that was great. She's yeah, like, I'm she's not gonna like, I'm not with you. Gonna, with you yeah, my my end of, end of days, my last day is not gonna be with you, old bastards, or whatever she says. So, oh, and man. it was cool to kind of see more of like a little friendly thing between the Hound and and. He, he respects the shit out of her. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. He, I mean, you know? she sat down next to him. He says, uh, "You know, you normally I couldn't shut you up, kind of a thing." Right. Um, and then one last thing that I had a question about is obviously you saw the emotion when Theon arrives and 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 arrives in front of everyone uh, with Dan with Danny and stuff and says how um, what Yara did that she took some of the fleet and she's at the Iron Islands and he wants to fight for the Starks which was cool but there was a lot of emotion out of Sansa and then Sansa ended up spending that night. Not with him in a in a physical. No, way. but listen, it's spending the the time with him. They were eating or something. So, what's like your that. question? You want to know why? Just put a bunch of question marks. Like, like, what is that? Is All it right. just because overall he saves her from Ramsey? Yes, he puts himself out there. Yes, yeah, you didn't get like a vibe where like they would have them together. No, like, no, no, no. I feel, I feel it's that it's a brotherly thing. She grew up with him. Don't forget, she grew yeah. up with them. Yeah, you know, they grew up together. That's her brother. For all intents and purposes, that's her brother. And she's yeah. obviously forgiven him for being, you know, for taking, you know, uh, Bran and his brother. What what was his name? And where the hell is he, dude? His brother's dead. The brother, the little brother's dead. Oh, that's right. He got killed. Ramsey killed him. During with the, the, um, the Battle of the Battle Bastards. Bastards. Wow. I f what was his name? Uh, Con, right? Say it again. Right? Con. Rick on right? that's it, yeah. So yeah. he kept breaking up every time he said it. I don't know. Oh, did I? <laughs> yeah, it, it was. Um, I'm kind of thinking the same way, but I, I mean, out of all the people, and how serious of a of a of a night before um, this is. Well, it's her family. I she doesn't guess. feel. She I doesn't guess. feel. I mean, she's not close to John. She's not close to Arya. It's yeah. the only family she came to fight. Yeah, he sense. came to fight for her, dude. Yeah, that makes sense because so, she was very emotional when she first saw because, him, and he. You know, when he said what he said, I think I think most of that, a lot of that had to do with it's the only one of her family that came to her side. John yeah. has, um, you know, Daenerys and Arya is on out on her own and everyone else is dead. Yeah. Now, I forgot. Not for nothing. We got to see. Uh, uh, what's his name? His wolf. What's his name? Snow. What's it? What's the ghost? Name? Ghost. Snow. What am I talking about? <laughs> Why am I? I can't remember anything. I'm sorry, guys. I'm tired. I guess. We saw him for a glimpse. I mean, we but saw I mean, him for a split second, but I, he's. he's... I, I, and I was like, didn't. Where's Ghost? Ghost didn't die, right? And so, yeah. yeah no, Ghost. Like, just had uh, to stick him in there. It just had to stick him in there because it's like, oh, you got to People are going crazy about I that. that uh, some walkers, man. Yeah, I think that we're going to see. Uh, we're going to see Nymeria again, too, in the wolf pack. Um. Mm. She's, she's gonna come in. She's gonna come in and help them somehow. Think, it's gonna, man. Definitely, definitely. I think gonna that's gonna be them. way out of left field, bro. Nah, why? We already saw them. Yeah, but how many people are gonna? How the average viewer is gonna be like? Where did these wolves come from? No, oh, you're crazy. Mm, all right, I, dis I disagree 100. percent Not definitely you gonna... and me, but I mean. <laughs> Any every Game of Thrones fan is just like you and me, except they're not making a podcast about no, it. No, I don't believe that. There are very casual people that watch. Dude, trust no. me. I listen. To, I listen to people at my job. Well, that's minority, morons, and that's no, no. and that's the that's the baseline. Trust me. I'm well, telling you, people are just like, oh yeah, and to hear people talk about this is just like, I'm like, you stop. You're ruining my show. Shut up. 
the diehard fan is gonna well, is, uh, well that's going of course to... a diehard fan right but casual fan nah anyway all right whatever look we're at 20 minutes man yeah all right thing well, is pretty much covered everything there was you know I, I i said this once and i'll say it again it was the combo for the storm episode we got a lot of great. cool stories we got I'm the fire i mean stuff. she's gonna die but, yeah you know uh, i think she might i think she's gonna go i think torman's going um, I think Barrick, those kind of guy, Ed, the Night Watch guy, I think he's out of there. I think a lot of the, the um, those. Oh, that was those... a good scene too. That was a good, a good quick little. Sam and Ed and and John came back and he's like, oh, we're yeah. the last three left, you know. Yeah, yeah, that was a they nice. Said that they went through the Umbers place and it was like done and oh yeah, man. Yeah, no, and uh, you know, I think Sam will be the one. I think Sam will live somehow. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to see him just. You know, I mean, we can always maybe do another video no, before do the it. end. Not nah, do it. No, I just, I, I mean, I, shit. It's, it's to sit here and guess the main guys, Danny, John, Aria. Like, I don't know. I don't necessarily think um, they're going. I don't think anybody really has. <laughs> I, I, w- I wasn't gonna do it either when we when yeah. we started for the season, but now I am. Like now, I just these. Are just we can my do something have, before dude. the end of the episode. Oh well, actually, no. We don't. We don't know who's gonna be after this. Um, the war tonight we don't but, even know what's going to happen yeah we don't even know well, what's going to happen sunday sunday yeah so it's it's tough so i in the end quickly i think it's going to be kind of like a john danny thing and they're going to stay in king's landing but they're not going to be it's not going to be like it was i think sansa will be the the ruler of the north kind of thing maybe even aria you know maybe sansa dies maybe aria it's and gandry it's does it or i just i feel i feel I that's going to be boring to me for to me know. to me personally yeah. I want something more. I don't want it like to, to end. See, I like to see the good stuff. I think there's going to be plenty of characters that we really love that are going to die besides John and Dude, I love dude. One of my favorite characters is Tormund. Mm-hmm. I just love that. Uh, I think Tormund's dude. going, man. I think he's a definite. I'm just saying I love him. I think he's a fantastic character. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Every time he's on screen, I'm just I perk up like this is great. I, I can't wait to see what he's going to do. Yeah, his his story with the teat and killing a giant. Oh, that was so great. That was, yeah. was so Everybody's funny. looking all like, whoa, what the hell? And I think that's when Davo says, all right, I'll take that. I'll, I'll, I'll go make a drink. Yeah, exactly, I have to listen yeah. to this guy. But yeah, so anyway, I think that's good. I mean, anything else that you have uh, nah, gee, looking through? I think we're good. Obviously, uh, obviously, they'll <laughs> tell us. You guys will tell us. You know, let's talk about it in the comment section. Right, check us out down there, down below. Write what do you think, your theories. Who do you think uh, is on your kill? And, and Yeah, uh, make us a kill list. I told you mine. List. It's everybody. Yeah. <laughs> everybody. Easy. No one. The show is just, it's just going to be like a Sopranos. The screen goes black, and you know, no, there's no one left. Um, so, yeah, check us out at Third Person Pod and all the social medias on Twitter, Third Person, on um, Instagram, on Facebook. We're all over the place. You can even type in thirdpersonpod.com in any of the, the Google search engine kind of a thing, and we pop up right away. Uh, yeah, the Game of Thrones is going to be uh, a badass um, cinematic, the most the, the longest cinematic war, I think, in, in, in television movie said? history. Yeah, because is it the, just the, for this for the next episode, or is it like span a couple episodes? One, this one, no, it's supposed to be constant. I think right now the winner is um, in the two towers. Um, the battle um, is forty-two minutes straight, just fighting, okay, and this yeah. is more than that. I think it's supposed to be like forty-six minutes or something. Dang, so that's the whole episode. Uh, no, it's an hour and twenty-two minutes this episode. Ah. So we got a good, we got a half Mike an hour. dropping the knowledge on us. Very good. Can't wait. Yes. This right. is good. It's sad. It's it sad. It's all sad. That Badlands is leaving us. Game of Thrones. What the hell are we going to do, Mikey? I don't know. We got to figure uh, it out. Figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right. Thank you very much, guys. We appreciate it. Don't forget, you can go check out all those Badlands videos. We just did interviews with Eugenia, uh, Eugenia Yuan and Sherman Augustus. Yes. Um, I was actually going to say Eugene Sherm. <laughs> Why? He's going to combine their names. You're mixing them? Yeah. But yeah, yeah. So, uh, celebrity couple. No. Um, yeah. So we just did another. We did an interview with them. That's you know. Uh, listen, man. We've got a lot of Badlands stuff. Plus this Game of Thrones stuff. Go check it out. All right. It's gonna. It's good stuff. It's fun. Thank you for watching. We love you. You know. Be safe. Be happy. Enjoy your TV shows. We'll see you next time for Game of Thrones. Good night.